Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be showing you everything you need to do to get Hyrule Warriors up and running on your PC using CMU Emulator. I am also going to be taking a look at and showing you exactly how you can use the 60fps patch which was recently released for this game. Before we get started, you are already going to need to have your CMU build set up. If you need to do so, you can follow my full setup guide that will be linked down in the description of this video. Let's now jump straight across to my desktop and I'm going to show you everything you need to do to get this game running to the best of its possible potential. The first thing you're going to want to do is to download all of the specific graphics packs for Hyrule Warriors and CMU Emulator. You will find this folder which contains all of these graphics packs down in the description. You can also find these packs in the graphics pack repository. First of all, you're going to need to extract these files. I just extracted them to my desktop. When I open this folder, you can see that these are all of the graphics packs for Hyrule Warriors. All you need to do is highlight them and copy them. Next, we're going to close this folder, come to our CMU 1.12.1 folder and open our graphics pack folder. It is into this folder that you want to paste all of these new graphics packs. Once you have these pasted right here, we are done with adding the graphics packs. We can now actually launch CMU itself. Now that CMU is launched, you can see my Hyrule Warriors game right here. You are also going to need to download version 208 update and DLC is also V208. If you are not currently in possession of this game or its update or DLC data, you can find my guide for downloading your games down in the description. Next, you want to right click your game and select open game profile. It is into this game profile window that we want to enter this line right here. You want to enter CPU mode equals single core recompiler. Make sure to save any changes before exiting. If your game does not actually have a game profile, you can simply use this create game profile. Then once it opens, you simply want to enter this same line. As always, before you close this document, you want to come to file, save and then close the document. Next, we want to actually turn on the graphics packs for this specific game. You want to come to options, graphics packs and as you can see in this window right here, these are the graphics packs I have enabled. I am going to be using a 1440p resolution pack, you can use whichever resolution you deem fit. I am also going to be showing you this 60fps fixes graphics pack, this pack requires you to maintain 60fps or you will experience slowdown. Alternatively, I would recommend using this 30fps lock graphics pack right here to lock your game to a steady 30fps and not use the 60fps pack. I'm also going to use DLC fix, this is required in order to fully use the DLC. I'm also using DOF blur removal. Nvidia Enemy Death Fix, this removes the horrible green glow that happens when you kill enemies when using an Nvidia GPU and I'm also using this Shadow Removal Graphics Pack due to the fact that shadows are still bugged on CMU Emulator. Once you have all of these graphics packs enabled, you can simply close this window and we are now ready to actually boot our game. So there you go, you can now see that I am loaded into game and my framerate is holding steady at 60fps. There will be occasions in this gameplay where my FPS will drop slightly below 60. This however is only due to shader cache stutter. As you can see on screen right now I'm dropping down to 55 and 51. However, as I said, this is due to my shader cache being built. The performance of this game itself is actually quite consistent even using this 60 FPS patch. It must be noted however that this game is currently being run on a system running an 8700K clocked at 5GHz and a GTX 980 Ti. Let's now display a performance comparative where I'm going to compare the performance of this game running using this 60fps patch on my 3770k system using a GTX 680 and my main 8700k build. Even though my 3770k can overclock higher than 4.2GHz, I decided to keep it at this clock speed due to the fact that I'm pretty sure that 100% of 3770k users can attain this speed. Even though this 3770K CPU is quite powerful, it is still not able to maintain 60fps in Hyrule Warriors using this 60fps patch. On the 3077K system, I even went as far as swapping out the GTX 680 for my own GTX 980 Ti. However, as you can see, the performance is practically identical, hitting the exact same maximum of 60fps and the exact same minimums of around 40 or 42. This should give you a fairly accurate baseline as to whether you should use this 60fps patch or not. Also, if you have a faster or newer CPU running at a higher core clock than 4.2GHz, you should be able to maintain this 60fps lock absolutely no problem. 
That's about it for this video guys, hopefully all of the instructions and steps I have shown you in this video will help you to get Hyrule Warriors up and running on your PC in no time flat. As always, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.